Okay, <laughs> I think it's ready. Um, good evening. And welcome to week four of the Elevate um, course. Goodness, I gotta get my stuff ready here. And I'm in the wrong chair. Um, so this week's all about finance, life purpose, career, things like that. Um, and I have another video of a breathing activity and a little bit of guided meditation in life's purpose in the unit section. Um, and so if you're wanting to work in that area, that is another video you could do that was filmed in August when we did the um, abundance challenge the first time. So this is the second round. And so as we go, you're gonna want to get guidance in certain areas. So that, and that talk, that, that video that I did, then I used a different affirmation than this video. So the last one I used was, um, now I can't even remember which one it was. I release all negative energy over money. I believe that was it. Now I'm mistaken. But um, this goals intention setting meeting is all about um, money creates a positive impact in my life. So when I think of money, this is, this is one of the most more difficult areas for me. Um, Linda says this is the area she loves to help people with getting um, on track with budgeting. And in her um, ULA coaching meeting, she talked about um, leading with our heart and finding purpose in what we're doing in our field and um, sharing our passions and things like that. And that's really where I come from um, when I'm thinking about this area, abundance in this area. Um, but when I specifically think about money, it goes to a different place for me. Um, you may have heard of the lack of scarce mentality. And as a child, I grew up with that. Um, I was um, in a low income family. I was the oldest of five kids. Uh, my dad came from a big Catholic family. They didn't have very much. My mom came from um, a small um, Middle Eastern family, Syrian family, very stingy with money, um, very responsible. Um, she wasn't given very many things that were extravagant. And she was a very, she loved, she loved beautiful things. She want she loved to get dolled up. She liked to be able to go shopping. And this was a family that, that wasn't really a part of the equation. So my family was low income. We were on reduced lunch or free lunch most of the time. There were times when we lost um, cable because my mom couldn't pay the bill. Um, we ended up at uh, food banks quite often throughout my dad owned his own Mason business. So in the winter, that was really hard for him. So, you know, all of that leaves an impact on your thoughts and your mindset patterns in this area. So you have some reversing to do. And that's where the oil and the um, affirmations come in place. So as you do this abundance challenge, you may find that you need to work in different areas and come back to this several times. So if this is your first time doing the abundance challenge, then you pick what's resonating with you right now um, from the list in our journal. Um, so you can also make up your own. So that we give, we've given you five choices, but if that doesn't feel right, you can make up your own in this area, things that you want to put forth into your life. 
life um, mindset changes you want to make. So the one I picked for tonight is money creates a positive impact in my life. I just got the oil, rubbed it in my hands. We're going to take a few deep breaths and um, do a power pose with it. Um, but before I do that, I wanted to say one more thing. So this lack scarcity mentality, I know I have enough. Um, I'm content with what I have, but I tend to hold on to things. It's very hard for me to get rid of things. Um, and then on top of that, so I, I'm really sentimental. Like I would keep like movie tickets, um, little doodads and knickknacks from trips or things people had given me. And it's hard for me to let go of that, those things. So over the years, um, I've done a lot of work in this area. Uh, and Marie Kondo is one of the um, people that I've watched, minimalist, um, talking about items and if they bring you joy. And I love that. So, you know, really thinking about one thing at a time. It's overwhelming if you're trying to declutter and um, clear your space to bring what you want into your life. Um, and so picking one object at a time and thinking, well, this no longer brings me joy. It brought me great joy at one point, but I need to let go of it. And having a real ritualistic way to do that um, can really help you to declutter because I've been focusing on that a lot lately. Um, holding on to things from my parents and after they passed away, um, not being able to let go until you're ready to let go. Um, and once you let go of that, you can feel um, like you, you do have enough. You don't need these items. Uh, so I hope that's making sense. Um, and that need to shop too, if you have that need to be buying things to fill some sort of need, um, that, that is that lack mentality that's, that's kind of getting to you. So if this is an area that you need to work on, there's so many resources out there. If you want to look into uh, more reading about how to change that lack scarce mentality. Um, okay. So the reason I picked money creates a positive impact in my life is because I don't need the money to buy more things. I don't need um, a bigger house. I don't need more clothes. I don't need stuff, but money creates positive impact in my life because it allows my family to feel comfortable, um, have less stress, um, be, my kids be able to do the things that are gonna give them purpose and give them meaning and find their calling, um, extracurricular activities that they might they may fall in love with. Money creates positive impact because I can take trips and um, that's something that brings me so much joy and allows my kids to learn about other people, other cultures, um, geography, things like that. So money creates positive impact, not just because it will give me things, but it will also give me peace um, and be able to live my purpose and help other people because really what I want to be doing is helping other people and without money that it's very difficult to do because you live in a state of stress um, and you're always trying to make up for that lack of extra that you need to be able to help um, and be the person you want to be for other people. Okay, so we're going to do, I'm going to put my hands on my belly for this one. And the longer you can inhale and the longer you can exhale, you are calming the nervous system and um, training the parasymp parasympathetic and sympathetic systems to get into alignment. There's a thing called the vagus nerve. So when you are working this elongated inhale, elongated exhale, 
you are helping the vagus nerve, which is what triggers all the body systems and also that fight, flight, and freeze response. So the more you can practice this breathing, the more calm your nervous system will become. So what I want you to do is just hold your belly and feel it inhale, puff out like you're filling a balloon. Really big and then exhale really slow, sucking navel to spine and getting all the air out. Hold and then inhale up into the chest. And then exhale, let it out slowly from the chest, sucking navel to spine, all the air out. And then as you do that, we want to think of our affirmation. Money creates positive impact in my life. Or if breathing, doing this breathing helps you with letting go, I release. So you could say, I release all negative energy surrounding money. After your next exhale, um, just gently open your eyes if they were um, closed and releasing the hands and feeling a little bit lighter in this area. So I was trying to say during the breathing time that um, if you're, so the abundance challenge has the power pose. So if you're wanting to feel more powerful in an affirmation, you're going to pick a pose that will make you feel more powerful. So maybe balancing. So let me back up maybe balancing and saying, money creates a positive impact in my life. And you feel strong and empowered. Money creates a positive impact in my life. Money creates a positive impact in my life. Money creates a positive impact in my life. And don't forget to be inhaling and smelling that wonderful abundance oil as much as you can as you do this. So some of these, um, some of these affirmations are wonderful for breathing and releasing. And some of these affirmations are wonderful for empowerment. So as you go along, see what feels great for you in your body and mind and, and, and do it consistently every day um, so that you can make those neural pathway changes and new paths in the brain. And I'm so excited to see some results from this, this four weeks. So we'll be back with a closing at the end of the week. And, um, and where do we go from here? So have a, a wonderful week all about finances, career, and life purpose. Put your goals in the comments.